سسٹینس and he knows its place of temporary sojourn and its permanent dwelling all this is recorded in a clear book huzur could you kindly explain to us what is meant by mustaqarraha wa mustaudaa hmm? what is meant by mustaqarraha wa mustaudaa you know some birds for instance and some animals as well other animals are transit transitory birds who are largely during the year in a state of transition from one place to another like salmon in the sea like finches in the air and other big birds as well who travel thousands of miles during their lifetime not during the lifetime but during every year moving from one place to another So wherever they migrate, to whichever place they migrate, that is their mustakhar, temporary sajjan. And they go on moving from one temporary sajjan to another, until they begin to return. And they always return to their mustada, where they truly belong. And it is done so fascinatingly, fascinatingly in case of Salmons, for instance, that is, it dazzles the scientists how they can navigate in the large oceans where the most sophisticated navigation devices are required for humans to navigate the ship back to those old places of their birth. But they do it without mistake. They travel thousands and thousands of, of miles away from the place where they were hatched from the eggs. And such places are sometimes situated in high mountains, actually, in places where it's very difficult to gain re-access. Because for the fish to flow down the flow of the river is quite simple, it's understandable. Although the downflow of the rivers at the mountain, fountain heads is very precarious and full of dangers. The water falls with such rush and power on rocks that it's amazing how they survive this. But they do. They leap hundreds of feet away from immediate danger from rocks, down to the bottom where the water churls and moves around, where humans cannot imagine their survival in such places. Yet they move on and on until they reach the oceans. Then starting from America, such places of their origin, that's one example, I mean, not, they do not always start from America, of course. But starting from America, they can reach the other end of the, uh, for instance, not one ocean, but all the oceans, in fact. Atlantic, Pacific, they go through Atlantic into the Pacific, and they may touch the coast of Japan. Imagine the difference. The, the distance extending between the two. They go on, and before their death, having finished this part of their journey and enjoying 
life as they do, they must return back to the place of their origin, that is Mustada. And they must give birth to the new generation of salmons there at the place where they were given birth to. How it happens, that is what baffles the mind. These fish, without a mind, without a navigation device, whatever it is, is within their minds. They travel all the way back to the great heights which gave them birth in the first place. And how they jump the ladders, how they jump from waterfalls to waterfalls, one after the other. And the hurdles of the falling waterfalls is no hurdle for them. Very powerfully lash their tails, so, so powerfully that it lifts them up to the upper edge of the waterfall. And that is how, and they find some ladders as well. Some ladders are now man-made, but in the olden times, there was no man, no ladders. But there were natural ladders created by the path of the ocean, of the, of the river. Wherever they found rocks gradually rising up, one place to another, they would jump into, onto one rock from there to another, further, until they reach the top. They always end up at their mustada. To give birth to a new generation, to lay eggs for, for the new generation and to die where they were given birth. These are the fantastic examples which have been covered by this single verse in a very small statement. Allah ya'lu mustakharra hao mustada. And it does not apply to salmons alone. Many other fishes do the same. And many other, not exactly the same, but similar things. They move large distances back to the original, original places from there they began. And uh, also, a large number of birds are migratory birds. I said transitory, that was wrong expression. They are called migratory birds. They migrate from one place to another. Understand? Thank you. <coughs>